Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and the one thing I like about quilting is being able to design one of a kind quilts. Now we need to start with individual blocks and we can draw them out on paper, figure out the math of the size and we can get books that help us navigate many, many different blocks. Here's the third edition of the Barbara Brockman's Encyclopedia. And I don't think there's a block that exists that is not in this book. You can see I do use it quite often. So this book will help me design individual blocks. And from there I can put them together in many different layouts. Now this is a great book to have. But we still have to do some sketching on our own and a little bit of math on our own. But you can get every single one of these blocks into a standalone program. The standalone program is from Electric Quilt and it's called Block Base Plus. It's a standalone program which means you do not have to have the larger EQ systems to run it. So we're going to be able to take any block that we want and change the size, smaller, larger, whatever we want. The computer gives us the exact measurements for cutting and that is what's going to make our blocks really perfect. There's going to be no guesswork going on. Now I do like to have the two of these together because I take this one and I read it in many rooms of the house and then I'll go to my program and design it all out. It is super easy to use and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use. You can get this book at a lot of quilt stores and you can also buy it through Electric Quilt. The computer program is the same. You can buy it from your local quilt shops and you can also buy it directly from EQ. And there's two ways you can buy it. You can buy this box style. It gives you some information and inside it does have some written instructions so that you can follow step by step to install it. So there's nothing to go with this. What we're needing is an activation number. So you're going to go to Electric Quilt and you're going to put in your ID and the license, which will be right here. And then you're going to be able to go step by step and follow along. But you can also buy the standalone system and use it immediately. You're just going to go to EQ, put this block base in your shopping cart and you're going to get that license number immediately. So you're going to be able to get this on your computer and start with it right away. So regardless if you buy this box version or the quick downloadable version, they're very easy to use. And I'll go to my computer and show you exactly how easy they are to use. So here is the area that we are able to put in our license ID and the password. Regardless if you've bought the cardboard one or you've bought it directly online, you're going to be able to fill in these two spots and then click on verify my license. When we open up block base, you're going to have this little starting page. What it is, is a page that's going to give us tips to help us navigate and learn more about this program. So we can go to next. It's going to help us work on the toolbar. And this is a great one when we're just learning how to do this. And we can also watch a video, which is a very helpful video. If you don't ever want to see this again, we just need to click on that don't show again and close it. I like to leave it open because I like to be refreshed on different things. Now I can just close that up and here I am in the program. It is so simple to use. The side along here are all of the blocks and we have a lot of blocks, over 4,000 blocks. And we just can follow along, we can get fans, two patch blocks, four patches, all sorts of blocks right along here. If you're looking for a particular block, you're going to be able to just search up here and we can search with the ID name from that beautiful book, a published name, a source, and even a category. 
and the source is a lot of fun. We could do Aunt Jane, American Women. There's a lot of different ones we can do. And this favorite one I'll show you in a minute. But let's go back to this block base. So we have all of these different blocks that we're going to be able to use. When we scroll right to the bottom, a really fun thing is, it's number 24. It's a whole top design. When we click on that whole top design, what we have are a bunch of quilts that are already ready for us to print out. So what we're looking at is 24, and that was representative of this number. And we have 47 different quilts that we're going to be able to print out. And these are full quilt designs. And I'll go more into this in just a minute. But let's just choose a block. And it could be any block. And I'm going to show you how simple this really is. Click on that block. Right on the bottom here, it's going to tell us the default size, which is a six inch square. This ID name matches the book. But we don't need the book. We can just type in different things. It gives us characteristics, all sorts of things. So we have that block. Now we can print it. Click on print. We have four different options. The most common one would be the rotary cutting. So let's click on rotary cutting. It gives us that six inch square block. But let's say we wanted a 12 inch block. Click on custom. Change that to 12 inches. And that now is going to give us a 12 inch block. It does give us a seam allowance of a 0.25, which is our quarter inch. We can change some rounding measurements here, but the best part is just to preview it. So let's go and preview this 12 inch block. This has given us all of the things that we're going to need to cut out this block. We have a solid white color. We will need one strip of fabric, cut it four and seven eighths, and we're going to need four patches. So it tells you here exactly how those patches are going to need to be cut. Now it doesn't mean we need to have these colors. Let's close that up. And let's change the colors to all of our blocks to a grayscale. It's right up here. Click on that. All of the blocks are now at a grayscale. And we can also have no colors at all. But let's go back into that grayscale and print one more time that rotary cutter. But I'm only going to preview it. I'm not printing it at this point. I will need to change that back to a 12 inch block. Now we preview it. We now have them all black and white. Let's close it and I'm going to show you a little fun part right here. This detailed view is the view that we get that sort of gives us fabric, a summary view, and let's show it here just gives us the summary. It doesn't tell us how much fabric we're going to need, but it does give us the sizes. So we need a 4 and 7 eighths block, and our strip is at 4 and 7 eighths. We're cutting a square, cutting that in half, A, and so we have those A squares. Let's close that and take a look at that detailed view. The detailed view is the one that's going to give us some fabric. So this is telling us how much fabric we're going to need. It's not going to give us the fabric for the entire quilt. It's only given it for this one particular block. So if we're going to use four blocks, well, we just need to do a little math. Having this in a gray scale, if we want to print that block, we just can go right into that block. You can see it's a gray scale. We can preview that. And if we want, we can really make that a lot bigger so it gives us a better idea on how we would like our own colors to go. But let's put it into a colorway. We're still on the same block, 
but we want to see how it's going to look in a quilt layout. Over in this area, it says quilt layout. When we click on that, it gives us seven different quilt options. So it's sort of suggestions on how the quilt would look in these seven different layouts. It gives us all these different options, and that's for every single one of these. So quilt layout, we have that horizon, so you can really see that secondary pattern, a layout with sashing, and so on. So every single one of these blocks will have seven different layouts, just to help us with the imagination. If this is going to be one of our favorite blocks, guess what? We can add it to our favorites. If we don't like it, well, we can just remove it. But let's add a couple of blocks to our favorites. Go right up into that heart where we started. Click on that, and it's going to give us our favorites. You can see I added one from before. Let's go back to our blocks. Let's look and see what else this print little button can do. Let's choose this star block and put it into print. Now we can do the rotary cutting, but we also can do templates. So when we put on the templates, we can still change the block size. We can also change the thickness of the printing. But let's take a preview of what the print template is going to look like. So these are our template shapes. And it does tell us the size of the block right here at the bottom of the page. Now we're going to be able to rotate these and move these shapes to get them all on one page. Just click that and move them. So we can condense these into one area and then move the extras over. Click and drag. Now if there's a piece that's not going to fit, once we click on it, we have this little X and this little green circle. We're going to be able to rotate that. It doesn't really matter the area it's in. We just want to have it so that we only need to print out one page. So we can go in and save it as a PDF up here or just print it. So now we have all of the templates so we can cut the actual size out. This will be the finished block, but we have the seam allowance already here. And it comes with all of these little points cut off so that pieces fit together like puzzle pieces. And let's close that. Let's take a look at foundation patterns. We can take that same block and paper piece it. It gives us our sections. It gives us piecing orders. We'll be able to preview. And now we have all of these individual pieces that we're going to put on some tissue paper and paper piece them. Save it or print it. And it will tell you how many pages you're going to need. We can also just print out the block. So this is giving us just how the block is going to look. It does give us the size, and that six inch is a finished six inch. Let's take a quick look at what a full whole top quilt looks like. At the top here, it says number 24, and that's related to this number here. But we have 47 different quilts that we're going to be able to print out and use. Let's change it so it's going to be a really big block. Let's custom size it to a 44 inch block. I can now preview it with just the cutting sizes. So I have all of the sizes just in that diagram or will give me the fabric view. And this, of course, is just for that one block. This would make a nice big baby quilt. It tells us we need a width of fabric. We're going to need two of them cut. The strips are going to be 11 and a half inches, and we're going to need four patches like this. And that is number A. 
So we're going to be able to go through and have all of the fabrics that we need for this one big single quilt block. Let's close that up. And this is going to be for all of them. When we look at something that's complicated like this one, if we print it out and we put it into templates, when we preview that, we're going to see that these are all individual pages. We need 25 pages. Some of them are going to need to be pieced together, but there are some we're going to be able to move so that we do not need to piece all of those pages together. We just continue to move and rotate all of these pages all of these shapes. Now we do have this diamond shape here and it is on three pages. So we can move it onto two. So now we only have to piece it in one area. This big circle for example, if I want, I can make it have its own pages. And in this case I can get it to two. These big center pieces, all of these pages will need to be printed out. And there's little marks here where we're going to be able to tape them all together. But we can move it just a little bit so we can avoid this little piece. Click it and drag. So we can rotate them, shift them, and move them, and then print them out. And in this case, we're going to need 24 pages. We can save it, print it, or close it to go play with another block. This is a very easy program to use. There's so many different blocks that we can do. And if you like to do English paper piecing, we can do one patch blocks. I can have it have no seam allowance. Now when I preview it, I will have this great piece that I can cut out and do some English paper piecing. And of course we can always change those sizes. Colored, gray, no color, all of these different sizes. Keep it to our favorites. Print it, change the sizes, export it, zoom it in, see in quilt layouts. There's so many different possibilities. So the system really does focus on blocks and a lot of blocks. You can get the book or just the system or you can get both. And that means we can take any block and make it any size that we want. So we're going to get the block layout. We can do some paper piecing, template every block, have the fabrics for the blocks, and just have the blocks with every single block, which means we might never leave the sewing room ever again, but I don't necessarily see a problem in that. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back and let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.